Cannibal AIs could risk digital mad cow disease without fresh data. It's only by gobbling up vast amounts of images, text, or other forms of human expression that generative AI models can churn out their own borderline uncanny interpretations. And when that inspiration larder goes bare, like a handful of marooned sailors, AI is left to turn to its own for a heavily processed source of digital nourishment, a choice which could come with some rather concerning consequences. A new study by researchers from Rice University and Stanford University in the U.S. offers evidence that when AI engines are trained on synthetic machine-made input rather than text and images made by actual people, the quality of their output starts to suffer. The researchers are calling this effect model autophagy disorder, MAD. The AI effectively consumes itself which means there are parallels for mad cow disease, a neurological disorder in cows that are fed the infected remains of other cattle. Without fresh real-world data, content produced by AI declines in its level of quality and in its level of diversity or both, the study shows. It's a warning about a future of AI slop from these models. Our theoretical and empirical Analysis have enabled us to extrapolate what might happen as generative models become ubiquitous and train further models in self-consuming loops, says computer engineer Richard Baraniuk from Rice University. Some ramifications are clear. Without enough fresh real data, further future generative models are doomed to madness. Baraniuk and his colleagues worked with visual generative AI model training it to on three different types of data, fully synthetic, synthetic mixed with real training data that was fixed, and synthetic mixed with real training data that kept being refreshed. As the loops repeated in the first two scenarios, the output from the model became increasingly warped. One way this manifested itself was through more noticeable artifacts taking the form of grid-like scars on computer-generated faces. What's more, the faces began to look more and more like each other when fresh, human-generated training data was not involved. In testing using handwritten numbers, the numbers gradually became indecipherable. indecipherable. The real data was used, but in a fixed way without new data being added. The quality of the output was still degraded, merely taking a little longer to break down. It appeared that freshness is crucial. Our group has worked extensively on such feedback loops, and the bad news is that even after a few generations of such training, the new models can become irreparably corrupted, says Baraniuk. While this peculiar piece of research focused on image generation, the team says large language models, LLMs, designed to produce text would fail in the same way. This has indeed been noticed in other studies. Experts have already warned that generative AI tools are running out of data to train themselves on, and this latest study acts as another check on the AI hype. It's promising tech for sure, but it has its limitations too. One doomsday scenario is that if left uncontrolled for many generations, MAD could poison the data quality and diversity of the entire internet, says Baranyuk. Short of this, it seems inevitable that as to now unseen unintended consequences will arise from AI uh, 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 autophagy even in the near term. The research has been represented in the International Conference on Learning Representations, ICLR, and you could read the accompanying paper online. And this is on Science Alert by David Neald. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.